Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in this video, we will add authentication to our app using Next.auth. So let's get started. Alright, so this is our progress as of now. Now to add the authentication, uh, we will install a library called Next.auth. So let's go to the terminal. And I'll just go ahead and uh, close the server and let's tap npm i next auth and now we can see next auth has been installed so if you go over here to the package.json file here we can see that next auth is being displayed so let's go ahead and uh, restart our application so let's tap npm run dev now to add authentication using next auth you have to create a folder inside the app folder called API and in that you have to create another folder called auth and in that you need to create one more folder called square brackets dot 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 next auth and in that you need to create a file called route.ts so you have to create an API folder and auth and dot 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 next auth and in that you have to create a route.ts file now here the first thing we need to do is we need to import next auth from next auth and after that we need to create a handler so let's tap const handler and uh, we need to set it equal to next auth and here we need to add the auth options so for that let's create an object and uh, let's tap const auth options and uh, this will be of the type auth options so let's tap auth options and let's import that from next auth and let's set it equal to an object now we need to add this auth options over here so let's tap auth options and we need to export this handler as get and post so let's tap export handler as get and handler as post right now let's complete writing this auth options object so here we can see we need to have providers so let's tap providers and uh, providers is gonna be an array and here we need to add the providers that we need so in our app we need to have two providers so if I just sign out and if you go to the sign in page here we can see we have github and google so we need to get these two providers so let's go ahead and type github provider and we also need to import it over here so let's tap import github provider from next auth providers github and let's also import google provider so let's tap import google provider from next auth providers google and here we need to add some options so here let's type client id and we need to add the client id over here and then we need to type client secret and we need to add that over here as well and we need to do the same for the google provider so here after this let's go ahead and type google provider and here also we need to add the client id and the client secret right now let's go ahead and generate these client ids and client secrets so let's go over here to github and here you have to go to settings and you have to scroll down to developer settings and then go over here to oauth apps and let's create a new app so let's click on register a new application and uh, let's name the application tech news and here we need to add the home page url so this is our home page url so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and then for the authorization callback url let's copy the same url and here we need to add api auth callback github so you have to add this exact path after the home page and now let's go ahead and uh, click on register application and here we can see we have the client id displayed so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here now we need to add it to our environment variables so let's go ahead and uh, click on generate a new client secret and uh, let's copy it and let's paste it over here now we need to add these two values to the environment variable so that they are safe so let's go to the root of our application 
and uh, here let's create a new file called .env and now first of all we need to add this .env file to the git ignore so that it is not pushed to our github repository so let's tap .env and uh, now let's go back to the env file and here let's tap github client id and uh, let's set it equal to the client id so let's cut this from here and let's paste it over here and then we need to add the github client secret and let's set it equal to this value right here so let's cut it and let's paste it over here and now we need to go back and here we need to type process.env.githubclientid and here we need to type process.env.githubclientsecret and here it is expecting a string so let's type as string and let's do the same over here as string right that's it with the github provider now let's go ahead and add the details of client id and client secret of google provider now for the google details we need to go to this link over here console.developers.google.com slash apis slash credentials and you can find this link in the next auth documentation and here also we need to add this authorized redirect uris so we have to type api auth callback google so let's go to this link now here i have already created some credentials so let's create a new one so let's click on create credentials and let's go over here to oauth client id and here for the application type let's set it to web application and let's name the application i'll just name it tech news and uh, let's add the authorized javascript origin so here i'll just add the home page so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and here for the authorized redirect urls let's go ahead and paste the same thing and here we need to type api auth callback google so i'll just copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and let's go ahead and click on create and now we can see we have the client id and client secret of google so let's copy this so copy client id let's go back and let's go to the env file and here let's type google client id and let's paste it and then we need to type google client secret and let's go back and let's copy this from here and let's paste it over here right now let's go ahead and uh, click on ok so that's it with both these credentials now let's add these to the providers so here let's go ahead and type process.env.googleclientid as string and here let's type process.env.googleclientsecret as string now when we work with next auth we also need to add the next auth url and the next auth secret to the env file so let's add that so here let's type next auth url and we need to set it to the url of our website so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and then we need to add a next auth secret so let's tap next auth secret and we need to add a secret code over here now if you scroll down here we can see that it says we can quickly create a good value using this code so let's copy this and let's go to the terminal and uh, let's paste the command over here and uh, let's press enter and here we have this secret code so i'll just copy this and let's paste it over here now you can add any code you want over here just create some random values and uh, just make it difficult for someone to guess right now let's go ahead and uh, go back to the rod.ts file and uh, here let's type secret and uh, let's set the secret to process.env.nextauth secret right now let's go ahead and restart our application so let's tap npm run dev and uh, let's go back to our website and now if you go over here to api slash auth slash sign in and if i press enter here we can see that we have this sign in page by next auth and let's go ahead and open the inspector and let's go over here to application 
and uh, right now we can see that we have these two cookies over here so here we have the next auth callback and uh, this token now let's go ahead and log in so let's click on sign in with github and now we need to authorize our app with the github account so let's click on authorize and now we can see that we are logged in because here we have this session right now we need to check whether we are actually logged in so let's go ahead and write some code for that now we need to access the session and we need to check whether we are logged in in our other pages of the application so for that we need to create a provider and we need to add it to the layout.tsx file because it wraps our whole application so let's go ahead and add a provider so here inside the components folder i'll just create a new file called providers.tsx now here first of all we need to import session provider from next auth react now when we use providers we need to change this component into a client component so here let's tap use client and uh, now let's go ahead and export the provider so let's tap export const and i'll just name it next auth provider and here we need to pass the children and for the type of the children we need to type children react react node and uh, let's create this function and here we need to return session provider and in there we need to add the children so let's tap children over here right now let's go ahead and use this next auth provider in the layout.tsx file so let's go to the layout file now here inside the body let's go ahead and wrap the whole app with the next auth provider so let's tap next auth provider and let's import it from components provider and uh, let's cut the ending tag and uh, let's paste it over here so now our whole application is uh, wrapped with this next auth provider now we will have access to all the functions in next auth in the whole application now let's quickly go ahead and check whether we are logged in so let's go to the nav bar and here we have the sign in button now we will display the sign in button only when we are not logged in so for that we need to go ahead and uh, access the status of next auth so let's go ahead and import use session from next auth react and now when we use use session we need to change this component into a client component so here let's type use client and now let's go ahead and extract the status so let's tap const status from use session and now let's scroll down and here let's add curly braces and let's type status equals and here we have three options authenticated loading and unauthenticated so let's select authenticated so if we are authenticated i'll just go ahead and uh, create a div and uh, let's type you are logged in and uh, here let's type colon and if you are not logged in we'll just go ahead and uh, display the sign in button so let's paste it over here right now let's go back and now we can see it says you are logged in so even if we refresh this page it says you are logged in now let's also add a sign out button to quickly check the sign out functionality so here i'll just create a button and uh, let's give it a class of btn and let's type sign out and for sign out we have to import the sign out function so let's type sign out from next auth react and here let's go ahead and add an on click and here let's type sign out right now let's go back and here we have the sign out button and let's click on the sign out button and now we can see we are signed out and we have the sign in button displayed now if we click on sign in we are taken to the sign in page but this is not the actual sign in page with next auth we haven't set it so let's go back to api auth sign in and uh, let's go ahead and log in with google and now we can see we are logged in with google and we have this sign out button displayed and uh, let's go to a different page so let's go over here to dashboard and here also we have the sign out button displayed and if i click on sign out 
we are logged out and we have the sign in button displayed. So the authentication is working all right. Let me just quickly go ahead and also set the sign in page over here. So let's go to the route.ts file and here let's type pages and here I just type sign in and let's set the sign in to the sign in page. So we have this page called sign in and let's add a comma over here. So now this page will be set as the sign in page in next auth. And now let's go ahead and go to the sign in buttons component. And here also we will add the on click. So let's go ahead and import sign in from next auth react. And let's go ahead and add an on click over here. So here for the button, let's type on click. And let's type sign in. And uh, we need to add the provider over here. So let's type GitHub. So this is the GitHub login button. And here, let's change this to Google. And here for the button, let's type on click. And let's type sign in. And here we need to type Google. Right now, let's go back to our website. And here we have this error because we are using on click. So we need to change this component into a client component. So here let's type use client. And then I'll just go ahead and click on sign in with GitHub. And now we can see that we are signed into our application. Let's sign out and let's also check the Google sign in. So let's click on sign in with Google. And here we can see that we are signed into our Google account. So the authentication is working all right. All right, so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will continue adding the functionality of our website. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.